Hey, how's it going everyone? Um, just thought I'd make a quick video. I haven't, I haven't done one for a while. So thought I'd just jump on here and show you how I've uh, been able to generate 170, I think it was $178,000 in revenue in um, in one month using Facebook ads for a baby clothes store. And um, just to give you some pers perspective, um, this store back in January when I first pretty much took over it was doing only twelve, fifteen thousand dollars max. So, you know, over over the next couple of months, as we started to scale up, the revenue got went up. As you can see, fifties, seventies, and then August. August was just crazy you can see you can see you can see what happened here we just literally hit a winning product <laughs> pretty much we um we were running products it's a baby clothes store obviously so there's a ton of products on it um we were split testing different products we finally find a winner and um it just seemed to go absolutely gangbusters so what we did is just spend a shitload of money on it um so for it's 178 grand revenue, what we spent that month was 20 26k in ad spend. So with a five of 5.76 return on ad spend for August. So some of these are off now, but obviously back in August when I was running these, these were all live. Um, so so the way I did it was, what I usually do is I have. Hang on a second, while that piece of shit drives past. Um. What I usually do is I have three cold audience um, campaigns running. So it will be, uh, that's where the most of the budget will be. And that will start at usually you know, 150 day per camp, 150 to $200 a day per campa campaign. And if it starts performing well in the morning, then I um, scale it up during the day. Then I've also got a, a, ton, of, um, a ton of retargeting ads going. So I've got uh, 180 days hot, campaigns uh, I've got two of them going I've got one that just go 180 days two ad sets and the other one is broken down into increments so seven days 14 days 30 days 180 days um, and they perform pretty well uh, what was the average of nine and six point three eight so obviously the nines way better um, still pretty good ad uh, return on ad spend on those ones and same same with warm traffic too these are Facebook and Instagram, people who didn't visit the website but interacted with the post some way, shape or form. So, as you can see, I did, I did, I did the same with them. So, 365 warm, and um, there's two ad sets that are always active in there, and then I've got, then I've got it broken down as well on the, the 7, 14, 30, 180, 365. So, and I've also got. The category, uh, catalog sales going too. So, people who visit the website, they might look at something, they go away, they don't, you know, they're not thinking about it. Um, then Facebook using the catalog, catalog set up in Facebook, it will then show them the same products they were just viewing again and again and again. And you can, you know, you can have different settings on that. And I won't go too much in detail on that one, but that's pretty much what we did. And when we found the winning product, we just pretty much scaled more or less the cold ones up massively the the retargeting ads didn't get scaled as much but um yeah we just went we just went hard on the on the um on the cold audiences and and that's what resulted in a, a pretty good month for one of my clients so you know this is how i make money while i work at home uh, i get a few questions all the time asking you know what am i doing now that there's no travel and all that sort of stuff and um I, what I basically do is I just run Facebook ads for businesses that don't know how to run Facebook ads. So no matter what business you've got, whether it's a builder, pest control, baby clothes store, you know, a any any any, any coffee shop, lawn mowing, lawn mowing business, whatever it is, your customers are on Facebook. If you don't know how to run Facebook ads, you should probably hire someone that does. Um, I can do it for you for sure, but I do not take at the moment. I just don't take startups. Um, I found that startups um, just don't have the budget it takes to get ads off the ground. So if you are running ads already, um, you know at least $100 a day, you've already built up five or $10,000 ad spend on your, on your ad accounts. 
but you're not getting the results you want, come see me, send me a message. I'll look at all your stuff. I'll see if I can help you out. Um, like I said, I don't like taking startups because unless you've got a big budget to play with, um, the expectations are usually too high and the budgets are usually too low. So, you know, keep that in mind. If the best way to start off, if you don't have a budget, try the free stuff. Do the free Instagram, you know, collabs, giveaways, stuff like that. Because if you don't have at least $1,500 to $2,000 a month to spend on ads without getting a return, without without breaking at least even, um, you just, you, you just, you, you don't have enough money. So um, if you do have a good amount of ad spend built up on your account, you want to um, look at someone else doing your ads for you, hit me up and I'll um, take a look at your account and see what we can do. If you want to learn how to do this for yourself so you can make money at home uh, or you've got a large company and you've got a, you know, you've got a sales team already and you want to give them knowledge and information and training on how to do this yourself so you don't have to hire someone like me, I'll leave a link below to the training where I've learned everything I've learned, if that makes sense. I've learned everything I know, whatever, you know what I mean? So I'll leave the link down there. It's to my mentor, Kiala's web class. Watch the web class. Um, if what you're finding that web class is valuable and you think it's going to pay off for you and your business or you're just fucking sick of working for someone else, you want to work at home like I am. I've been full-time at home for a year now. Um, and I started off just watching a webinar, bought the program, learnt the training. Now I run ads for businesses and make a, a decent income from working from my computer, usually anywhere in the world. But because of COVID, I'm stuck here in Brisbane at the moment. But all is good. Uh, once the borders open up, I should be able to travel again. So, yeah, um, that's today's video, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Cheers.